Hello YouTube viewers, computer programmer here. This is my like my tenth attempt of trying to make this video. What I was doing last night, I was working on a program that allows you to compile your RSBuddy scripts and run RSBuddy in dev mode. I was working on it until about six in the morning from eight or nine at night. Um, I'm also going to make a tutorial of how to do it manually if you don't want to use my program or if you feel like accomplishing it yourself or if you just don't trust my program. What it does, oh I already told you what it does, so um, let's get started. So first off, open it up and you get this. So these files should automatically be load, um, loaded. If they're not, you, you're probably going to get um, an error and it's going to ask you to locate them yourself. And in this case, then these four, one or two or four of these buttons will become um, available to use to relocate it if you want to. Now, this isn't like one of those stupid programs where you click compile scripts, it'll try to do it when it doesn't have the information. It doesn't have the information, so it doesn't work. Same with this button. But I just spelled located wrong. So this path is for the um, Javac, which allows you, which is used to compile the scripts. This um, is for java.exe, which is used for running RSBuddy in dev mode. And these two are the two libraries in that are required for RSBuddy to run in dev mode. So first off, the first one, locate your, your rsbuddy.jar folder. It might not be called RSBuddy. It might be called RSBuddy-142 because um, that's the current version right now. So I'll just open it up. And then for this one, you browse. Oh, as you see right here, a little temp file was created, and I'll show you that in a minute. The next step is to browse for your source directory, or where your where your Java your Java files are located. Mine's located in my documents and my NetBeans folder. Right there. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, um, are you gonna have to relo relocate these files every time you start it up? Well, let's find out. Now, what this fi what this file is for is going to answer that question. It stores those files that you located in this XML file. You see right here, this is where my jar is located, and this is where the script folder is located. So now if you were to start it up again, the program is automatically going to load what's in the XML to folders here, or the text boxes here. And let me go to my source file. Now what you do when you click compile scripts is it's going to delete all the class files, not the Java files, the class files. I see right here the date or the time is 5:51, Click compile. It's going to delete them. Then it's going to rebuild them again. This is 5:55 for all of them. Now, some what I'm what I'm still working on is having another window show up. Showing you the errors, um, if you get any errors um, while compiling, that's not going to be too hard. I could I could do it, but I just want to release this um, right away. Um, and that's that. Now, uh, I should close this first. Now I click Run RSBuddy in Dev Mode if you want to run it in Dev Mode. Little um, command prompt window is going to open. I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff right now, I'm encoding a video and downloading, so... Oh, here it is. And so you'll be able to tell if it's in, if it's on um, RSBuddy in dev mode, if it'll say this at the bottom. Now, I'm just gonna, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna delete these two accounts. When you go to run, and if it's your first time running dev mode, you might get this error. No accounts found. Please create one before using the bot. To do that, this one will automatically open. If it doesn't, go to edit accounts. Go to add. And just type in some random shit. Just like that. And click OK. You don't have to add a password if you don't want to. Or a pin. But make sure you do not add your real username and password. And click done. And click run. Now you're gonna see if nothing's if nothing's here, 
Um, there is something here, but um, I just forgot to rename it, or put a name in the name, because I just quickly made this, because the other file wasn't showing up. But if nothing shows up and you do have um, files, go to Select Path, and browse to where um, the source file is, or your source directory is, which is the same directory that you located right here. Under right here, click Select Path, Sources, this is right there. It's probably not going to look that when you select, when you select it. Uh, it is here in this case. Click select path. Then you're going to see your script file. Um, but before you run it, you might want to log in first because um, when you if you run it before logging in, it's going to try logging in as this account. It's not going to be a password. And it's not even probably not even a real account. Um, so log in first. But basically, this script is just just an uh, open GUI. And it's apparently I get some errors for the script. Let's see what error it is. Okay, future run and run. Find class. Oh, well, I had it open. Um. Well, apparently I got an error running it. That's okay. Um, I just I didn't add anything to it. All I did. Oh, I know. I know what the problem is. Um, I guess you guys want me to explain it. Well, in my in my GUIs, uh, I guess I can show you what um what happened. I'm just gonna pause it because it takes a while to load. Okay. Yeah. The problem is this. It says J Desktop. It's not supposed to say that at all. Um. I really don't know how to fix that, but I just think it's the way I've got the class made up. Um, but that's why that's not running. But that's basically what my program does. I will have a link in the description of where to download it. Um, and yeah. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, requests, or anything like that, just private message me or put a um, request in the comments down section down below, and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.